this will be the third such downward review of a tax policy that was met with a lot of misgivings by Ghanaians. When government thought up the idea of an e-levy, they wanted us to pay 1.75%, and the target, the revenue target, was 6.9 billion CDs. But in March, when the budget proper was read, they reviewed it downwards to 1.5% with a target of 611 million CDs. But it looks as though that tax policy has really struggled because government has not been able to get enough of those revenues. Today, when Finance Minister appeared before Parliament, he said that the e-levy has further been reduced to 1%. However, there is a caveat. The caveat is it is likely to affect every other transaction that is done when it has to do with e-levy. So we hit the streets to find out from Ghanaians what they made of the latest proposal by government. They have seen that the 1.5% is not helping them because those that we don't send money, the big, big money, are plenty that than those who send higher money. But whenever I do transactions, 50 and 60 and 70 and so the e-levy doesn't catch me. So they have seen that we that we are sending the lowest money, we are plenty. The MPP government is, is a government, I can tell them that they are very wise in book. They use book to always beat us. But we that we are coming, we are more sharp than them. We are reducing the pressure on our heads, but not removing the stones off, right? So the load is still there, but you are telling us that you are reducing it. But it's, it's not going anywhere. It's still there. There, there is still some, some kind of thing there. And so if I'm sending one CD, there is an e levy on it. If I'm sending 20 pesos, there is an e levy on it. You, you've not reduced anything, basically. Because when we travel, we see it, right? A lot of nice stuff. It's because people are paying taxes. And because the government is using the taxes. But if we were paying and was getting fixed, you wouldn't complain, you understand? So that's basically it. They should scrap it. Now, even if you send one Ghana CDs, there will be a deduction. And that one, that, that one it, it, it confuses me a lot. And it, it is an error. We don't need any e-levy because Ghanaians are really passing through a lot of pains. Meanwhile, mobile money transactions between 2017 and 2021 increased from 1.55 billion CDs to 9.86 billion CDs. Dr. Prisla Bafo is an economics lecturer at the University of Ghana and has this to say. I believe that, yes, people are of the opinion that the e-levy should be scrapped. I do not share in that opinion. Why? Because um, I think at the time that it was introduced, um, I was one of the people who vehemently opposed it because I thought that it was going to set our digitalization drive back. But at this point, um, the challenges we face as a country in terms of um, uh, raking in enough resources, enough tax revenue, I think that once it is here, and given that now we are desperate to bring in resources, um, it should be made to work. So I was excited about the downward revision. Uh, my expectation really was that um, based on what academia and researchers have indicated, a 0.5 rate would have been ideal. The 2023 budget isn't all doom and gloom, as government is hopeful it will be a major step in setting the economy back on the path of recovery.